Hi guys and welcome. You're joining me in this video because I'm going to be making hair ties. It's a very simple, simple make and it's something that will just add a pop of colour in your hair. Now, anybody that knows me knows I love wearing these. I absolutely love just tying some fabric around my hair, which is keeping my hair off my face. Um, now, I didn't have a great deal of fabric to play with when it came to this because uh, the video where I did the frumpy dress into a classy pencil skirt, this is a bit of fabric that I had left. Uh, and I've just got one piece where I'm going to be making a scrunchie as well. But what I will do, literally, is get the fabric, take it up, and I will wear it like this. But this does need sewing in position, and it needs the, the corner shaping. Now, if you wanted to do something like this, but you wanted to put a bow there, you need to make it wider to allow for the fabric to make your bow. So I'm going to put this on the table and show you the measurement that this piece is. And then we're going to get stuck into making it up. And then we'll look at the final finished hair tie. Let's get started. Right, so what I need to do at this point is find out the centre of this tie. So I'm just going to put a clip in the middle and that's where I'm going to be leaving my opening where I can pull it through. So I'm going to right side of fabric, folding it over so I'm stitching on the wrong side of the fabric. And what I'm going to be doing here is I'm coming in at an angle so I've got a point when it's turned the right side. Once again, I'm going to be just leaving, I'm going to be running the fabric along the inside of the, of the foot and that is my seam allowance. So I'm making sure that the fabric is running side by side and then I'm running down. And then where the clip is, I'm going to stop about the width of my thumb before I get to the clip. And then I'm giving that a good back tack and then I'm going to start just after the clip. So I've just got a small opening. I'm going to stitch to the end again making sure that fabric is running together and then I'm going to come up and sew up to the corner again. Just take that off and I'm going to just cut the excess fabric off of where I've stitched on the corners. So when I put that through, I'm going to have a perfect edge to it. And I'm going to do that on both sides. I'm going to get my wooden knitting needle and I'm going to start by pushing the fabric through. And then where I've got the opening, you've got two ways that you can stitch this up. Now, bear in mind when you've got this in your hair, nobody is ever going to see this because it's going to be underneath your hair. So you can either press it and then stitch it into weaving on the inside so you don't see any stitching. But I don't do that. I simply sewing very close to the end. 
to the edge. And then just make sure I'm just stitching to where it's undone. I'm just going to go and press this down. This is the finished head tie. Uh, it's been sewn, stitched and pressed. So I've got the corners that I wanted. So literally I'm going to put this in and then we're going to have to look at it, how it looks in. So this is how I would wear it guys. Just up, tie and got a pop of colour uh, to the side where it's hanging. Now you could also pull that to the back so you've just got a headband and then this would be under your hair if that's how you wanted to wear it now i will probably wear this when i wear the skirt that i made from that frumpy dress because it's going to look great with it because i've got the long tie belt and i've got this which will pick up so i'll put a link in the end of this video so you can actually see that if you want to see how it, the, the skirt turned out from the dress now if you've made it to the end of the video i'm going to be doing a giveaway also in this video and what I've got is four hair ties. Now what I've done on these is I've put a hair tie bobble on them and then I've just tied these fabrics on. So you could put that in if you wanted a ponytail and then you could bring these up and tie your bow if you wanted to. Or you could take these off the bobble and just use them as hair ties like I've got in my hair here. And uh, there's four lovely designs in these that you could they're all different lengths as well they're not the same length so like I say you can do different things with these but once again if you would like to be with a chance of winning these then simply enter the word win in the comments below and anybody who's got win at the side of the name they'll be entered into a draw and I will pick one person out to actually win these uh, because it's such a fun thing and like I say no matter what colour hair you've got if you've got some length to your hair you can easily make these and wear them and once again it's lifting the hair off your neck and off your face and it's just adding a lovely pop of colour into your hair but these are one of my favourite things to wear because I just love it they're so easy to put in so easy to take out and then you're done so it's just a case of just took that out undoing it So you're going to put it straight under your hair, get it so that it's even, fetch it up, pull it once, pull it twice and then that's it. So easy and simple to put in. So I hope you've enjoyed this little um, make again. It's so easy, it's so quick to do. You can use it from scraps of material because that's basically what I've done with this. Um, so thanks for watching guys. Take care for now. And see you soon. Bye for now.